So ladies and gentlemen, this is the next tutorial. I will show you how you put any software to access there on a car sat nav like Binatone. Because I'm tired to pay over two hundred and thirty five pounds for a slow device with a low baud rate or over four or five hundred pounds for a sat nav if you can have it cheaper. Even a new Binatone costs no more in Argos than more than 65 quid. So you're better off. I bought me for 35 pounds the Binatone in cash generator. So how do you make the software run from SD card? Right? You have an empty SD card and the first thing you do is very easy. You produce a shell ENI. Right, you see here the content. Binatone is looking for a folder called Mobile Navigator with capital M and N, and in this folder shall be a Mobile Navigator.exe. The SD card is classified as SDMMC. You see that here. All right, you open Notepad. Write this path, make sure that's nothing written after that exit with the folder mobile navigator and mobile navigator exit. That's it. Save it in the name field as, as shell.ini, otherwise, it is shell.txt. So make sure that the ending ini is in the path. I saved me that procedure, right? You see that here it is shell. You put the shell in it. Go in properties. Right. It's an ini file. Good. Okay. I'm holding that phone again with one hand to record that tutorial. You put the shell in it in the root of your SD card. Right, then you got your software. This is for the mobile navigator, like it is here in the shell. Normally, you got a folder like Igo Primo 2.0, it's a recommended software you put on there. So, if that is a folder, you have to rename this folder in Mobile Navigator. That is how you do that. Okay. Then you go in your software. You put the software in that folder and you're looking for Igo Exe or whatever Exe file it is. And you have to rename this file in Mobile Navigator. Yeah, you can call it left leg, yeah, whatever you call it, it will still run Igo Primo. So that is one thing you have to do. You have to rename the exe file in Mobile Navigator with capital M and N. It's the second step. The third step of the whole thing is you have to tweak your system text. Here is the system text. Right mouse click, open with notepad. Right, you see here sections, folders. Yeah, application is STMMC, and normally here's some primo SD card pass STMMC content primo. I enlarge that. You have to replace in this section of the system text folders or root every word that is primal through no mobile navigator. Because these are your folders. Right, you scroll down and you come to a section called I'm scrolling down now.
GPS. If that is not existing, if it is existing, you delete everything underneath this section. Yeah. You type the two lines in here, port or is equal 7 and board is 57,600. If you imagine a ProNav uh, device has port 3 with 38,400 as a board, right? That is bits per second. That is a communication rate between the GPS receiver and the computer. You must tell the software where it shall look for the signal yeah, the GPS receiver is putting into the system. That is a COM port. Because actually it is a, it's nothing else as an extra device. Even if it is built in the, in the SATNAV, it is a device communicating with a computer over a port with a certain board rate. If you don't know, you just ask somebody who knows that. In this case, me, it is port 7 for a binotone with this board rate. The binotone is an F435. And I think Binatone has always the same board rate in his devices and the same port. Why? That's it. You save the whole thing. Save. Not save as. Just save it. And you change and tweak your system text. Now, if you put that card now into a device, and you push your finger on navigation, Algo Primer will start. Yeah? The thing is that in the beginning that will stop because uh, it will be a device NNG created by Igo Primer software. You understand that? Yeah? And it must not even look anymore for the GPS signal because it is there. I think it's still looking. Yeah, here it is, looking for GPS signal. But you see here, it will find a signal. I'm here now in the, in the wilderness, actually parked up in a farm. Right, so that GPS signal will not be very strong. We are waiting, but it is there. So that is the COM port and that is the signal. Okay, it, that is working, believe me, it is working. Looking for GP... Turn oh, back where possible. You see, it found it. Yeah? Take the next right. Then and somebody is now watching me in the fucking truck yeah where am Take i the turning right. the bloody then arrive at GPS your around the fucking cunt right it's doing that all the time where am i where am i not well fuck you i put him some interesting things on that satnav some viruses self-programmed and if he clicks on that he fucks up his computer yeah don't send any viruses to anybody, just let him have it. And when he clicks on it, it is his problem. Okay, you see it's working, working fine. So the first start might be a bit hanging, then start again. And that's it. That is how you do it. Thank you very much for your attention.